Good morning and welcome to SI Lives AM with Alex. I'm Alex Elmeri. It's Thursday. We have a hot day ahead of us. Here are today's top headlines. The Department of Transportation wants Staten Island artist Scott Labato to remove a bright blue line he painted along the divider on Highland Boulevard outside of the 122 precinct or face getting hit with summonses. But Labato is ignoring the DOT's warning sent to him in a cease and desist letter last week and instead turning that letter into a piece of art and auctioning it off to fund the New York City Cops and Kids Boxing Club. In other news, Staten Island politicians, police, and other community leaders came together for a virtual discussion on Wednesday evening about heightened criminal activity, policing, and racial tensions on Staten Island. The Zoom discussion titled Community Dialogue on Race Relations was hosted by the African Community Alliance of Staten Island. More than 70 community members were present for the call. The two-hour discussion touched on the topics of recent gun violence in the borough, accountability in policing, and funding for youth and community programs. In education, with only six weeks left until the school year begins, no information about enrollment for the city's Learning Labs, a program meant to help working parents with school-aged children during the blended school year, has been announced. Mayor de Blasio announced nearly three weeks ago that the city would use libraries, cultural institutions, and other available spaces for the program. When asked for information about who would qualify and how parents could enroll students, City Hall deferred the question to the Department of Education. However, the DOE did not return a request for information by publication. And here's what we know about sports and extracurricular activities upon school reopenings. Even though interscholastic sports are not permitted at this time, schools and districts are required to develop reopening policies regarding extracurricular activities, including the types of activities that will be permitted, as well as the cleaning, social distancing, and personal protective equipment protocols that will be in place. To find out more about all of these stories, visit silive.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, if you're going out, social distance, wear your mask, stay safe, and stay tuned for more updates.